Hello everybody, I wanted to do a quick video today to describe multiplication comparisons just because it is something that I know I didn't learn to do when I was younger. This is part of our new math curriculum, so I wanted to show you how it's done. This right here, you might be uh, hearing about it being referred to as a tape diagram, so I wanted to show you how it works. So basically what this diagram is showing you is a multiplication equation, okay? It's telling you that 24 uh, 24 is six times, and you grab the six because there's six boxes here. Look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six. So 24 is six times as many as four. That is what that tape diagram is showing you. In this one, it is commutative, so we know that the order doesn't change the results, but it is different numbers, right? So now 24 is actually one, two, three, four times as many as six. I wanted to show you how that was done. I'm also gonna show you. If they tell you a word problem like this one, and it says, Luca has 72 baseball cards, Han has nine baseball cards, how many times, as many baseball cards does Luca have? This is how I would solve this. I know that Luca has 72, okay? And that Han has nine. So if Han has nine, how many of these nines do I have to get to get to that 72? So you can start by drawing your little squares, right? So I have one, that's nine. I have another one, now I have 18. I have another one, now I have 27. I add another one, now I have 36. I have another one, now I have 45. <laughs> I'm running out of space, but I have another one, now I have 54. 63, 72. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had to do it eight times. So right here, how many times as many? I had to do it eight times. So that equation would turn out to be that 72 is eight times as many as nine. I hope that this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, have a good afternoon.